In January 1997, I walked into my office in Atlanta, Georgia, king of the jungle. Floor to ceiling windows, president of the Southeast for ADT security systems. I looked in the other corner of my office and there was my good friend Tony Esposito, the vice president of HR for ADT. I said, Tony, what are you doing here? And he said, Mike, I flew up from Boca last night. I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is it appears we are going to be purchased, we at ADT. Our stock price will double. Our stock options will kick in, ka-chink. And all three companies that are looking at us, Republic Industries, Western Resources, and Tyco, will leave us alone. We're going to be a separate entity going forward. ADT Security Systems has a very bright future. I said, Tony, that's great. He then said, the bad news is, Mike, you are not going to be part of it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was 10%. How do you respond? to what just happened. I had no idea. So I asked, Tony, could you repeat that? And he said, here's what I heard. You are fired. <laughs> and then I got it. My shock, which was my first 90%, turned into, how long do I have? As sarcastic as I could. And he said, I got a 5 o'clock flight back to Boca. Give me a box. Get my vice presidents on the speakerphone. What happened? We're number one in the country. They call me the Marathon CEO. That's what the chairman labeled me. All five presidents are leaving today, Mike. Okay. I grabbed my 90%. Let's have a pity party. Let me call all four other presidents and say, hey, how are we going to handle our 90%? You see, it's 10% what happens and 90% how you react to it. So next, you take out your special glasses, as I got in the Disney School of Management, and you reframe. <laughs> you say, what an opportunity. I just got my keister kicked out of here, and now I can do whatever I want. So I got in my car with my big box. I drove down I-20 and said, wow, this ain't working. 